So I'm going to show you how to lift a uh, vehicle with a two post lift. Um, this is an Atlas PVE 10 piece. It's a 10,000 pound two post lift. Uh, ignore the mess in the garage. I just built it not too long ago. I'm still getting stuff organized, but you want to try to get the, <clears throat> the post lined up about where you're going to be uh, midway on the balance point. So this is a diesel. So more of the weights in the front. Um, you want to put your arms on the flat parts of the frame. So right here is where I'm going to put the front arms of the lift. And then on the back, these are going to be extended back and you can see where this starts to bend up a little bit on the frame. So I'm going to put this on the flat part. So, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and lift it up. So once you get up about six or eight inches off the ground completely, as you can see all the tires are off there, you want to go towards the back um, or to the back where you can grab onto the bumper. And you want to rock it really good. Make sure that it's seated onto those arms. If it's going to fall off, I'd much rather it fall off at six inches off the ground than when I'm under it. So I put quite a bit of weight on it. I shook it. It's not bouncing on the arms at all. That, that's just the arms flexing a little bit is, the, is why it's rocking. So you can see all the, ar the pads are, are centered on the frame. So it's nice and sturdy. <clears throat> Uh, and then the cab of the truck is just about centered on the, on the, the lift, uh, the, the post of the lift. It's a little bit further back, um, on the lift because like I said, the weight's up front and on this, there's a lot of weight in the, in the engine compartment. So once you lift up to wherever you're going, you'll hear the locks engage. So once you hear those locks engage, if that, so say this is where I'm going to stop at, then I'll lower it down onto those locks. So now it's resting fully on the locks. That way you're not relying on hydraulics to hold the vehicle that's, that you might be under. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the biggest safety thing there is make sure you rock it when you lift it up off the ground a little bit to make sure it's not going to fall off or make sure it's balanced uh, correctly on those arms. And then when you raise it up to the height you want to go to, um, you might have to go to the lock above or, you know, where, wherever it's going to be comfortable for you and then lower it down onto those locks. So that way it's resting fully on the locks. Um, and you can see the locks that right there is the lock. So then when you need to, when you want to lower it back down to the ground, <clears throat> you'll lift it up off the lock and then Mine, some of them are different how they work, but I have this right here that releases the locks. So you can see that releases the locks. Then I use the my other hand. So you have to hold the release and then also the lowering, the lever to release the hydraulics to lower it down. <clears throat> it does lower kind of slowly uh, when it's new. This is a new lift, so it'll be kind of slow until it gets worked in a little bit. Um, and then also you can, if you look on the inside of the arms, there's plastic glides down in there and then down in here and then around in the front side there. You don't have to, but you can grease those, uh, the grease, the track here, like along here, and you can see I've already done it there. That'll allow it to, to slide a little bit easier and to, uh, not wear out those plastic glides as quick. So that's, that's just an extra thing if you want to do it. But other than that, that's uh, all I got. It's a, like I said, it's an Atlas PV10P, 10 10,000 pound lift. And this is a Ram 2500 Cummins. Be sure to subscribe to the page and like the video.